Sometimes we get relational opposition and we give up. We, we, we stop giving our all because we're going, oh, man, this, this is. He prayed and the people posted guard day and night to meet the threat. Here's what I want you to think about this weekend. Pray for God to do his part. And we keep giving our best energy to our part. The opposition is designed to get you to give up. Sometimes we want God to do a, a, a bailout miracle. But I think what we need to do at times is keep being faithful with our part while we pray that God does the same with his. The second kind of opposition you're going to experience when you start leveraging your influence and start stepping into your leadership is number two, mental opposition. Mental opposition. Somebody getting a phone call. You might want to answer that. Listen, mental <laughs> opposition. <laughs> Nehemiah chapter 4, verse 11. Listen, you can put it on silent now. My goodness, say, what's up? <laughs> Nehemiah 4, verse 11, it says, Also our enemy said, before they know it or see us, we will be right there among them and will kill them and put an end to the work. This is what the enemies have said. Then the Jews who lived near them came and told us, watch this, ten times over. Ten times over. Listen, they're going to kill us. 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 Kill us. Like, do you see? They're... It's in their mind. You can see it. And, and wherever you turn, they will attack us. Therefore, this is what Nehemiah does. He said, I stationed some of the people behind the lowest points of the wall at the exposed places, posting them by families with their swords, spears, and bows. After I looked things over, I stood up, really. <laughs> After I looked things over, I stood up and said to the nobles, the officials, and the rest of the people, don't be afraid of them. Remember the Lord who is great and awesome and fight for your families, your sons and your daughters, your wives and your homes. One of the biggest battles you're going to have when stepping into your leadership is between your ears. I, I can't tell you how many leaders. Mind games. It's, 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 it's the wavering. It's the wavering back and forth. Nehemiah 6 verse 9, it, it speaks to this too. It says, they were all trying to frighten us, thinking their hands will get too weak for the work and it will not be completed. But once again, Nehemiah said, but I prayed. But I prayed. Now, strengthen my hands. Did you know that uh, on average we think 6,000 thoughts per day? 6,000 thoughts. They say some people think 60,000 thoughts per day. That's what we call our overthinkers. Any overthinkers in the building, you know what I mean? Like you think in your sleep, okay? Like all sleep is is you thinking with your eyes closed in the dark, okay? You just never stop thinking, all right? Oh, but on average, 6,000 thoughts per day. Did you know 80% are negative? That's 4,800 to 48,000 negative thoughts per day. Did you know that 95% are repetitive? Which means you got the same Spotify playlist going on and on and on and on and on again. And a lot of those are negative. So that leaves us with 4,800 negative, mostly repetitive thoughts a day. How in the world are you supposed to walk in your purpose, steward your influence, and be who God has called you to be with that much negative thinking on a daily basis? Now, here's the good news. Um, I think you can change your thinking. I think you can change your thoughts, and, and I can prove it. Um, nobody, promise you, guarantee you, not one person woke up this morning and said, oh, yeah, you know what I'm going to do today? I'm going to be negative. 4,800, 4,800 thoughts negative. Oh, yeah, oh, Father's Day, oh, forget Father's Day. It's negative day. That's what it's going to be. These kids about to get these negative thoughts. I'm making a plan to be negative. Nobody did that. <laughs> but you can accidentally get there. You can accidentally find yourself just in a bad mood all day long, even on a holiday. It's Juneteenth and Father's Day. You're like, no, nah, but I'm mad. But you didn't plan on being there. We didn't plan on thinking negative today. But did you know we can plan on thinking positive? Most people don't know that. If you don't have a positive plan for your thoughts, you will accidentally, accidentally end up 
with a negative average way of thinking. Every single one of us. If you, if, here's the deal. I think you can change your thoughts by planning them ahead of time. I think you can. So here's, here's how some people live. Some people just let their day happen to them. And their attitude hinges on how well their circumstances go. And then there's those special people who've already made up their mind as to what their attitude and perspective is going to be before they see outcomes. So some people wake up expecting bad things to happen to good people. And then there are some people wake up expecting to do something good for all people. What kind of person do you want to be today? Hey everyone, thanks so much for tuning into our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you can stay connected with everything going on here at City First Church. To watch the full sermon this video was taken from, click here. And to watch more inspirational clips like the one you just saw, click here. Thanks so much for watching and God bless.